Beauty and the Beast. Part four. Okay, part four is essentially the same as the beginning. Not the introduction, the beginning of the section. So our left hand is going C, C, C three times. Two, three, and four is the change to G. So exactly the same as you did at the beginning. And the tune to begin with is the same. So we do E, G, B, C, F, that's the same. And then we're going to go E, G, B, C, D, that's the same. And then we'll go add in a little bit more to move on. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's just recap how that should sound. Exactly the same as the beginning. Okay. But this time, what we're going to do, when we reach that third G, there, we're going to add in a new part in our right hand. And we're going to go E, D, E. Okay, I'm going to add that on the end of it. Go carry on with the right hand, thumb on C, change that C to a second finger, C, B, C, E. To the E, E, F, E, D, C. We'll do that again. So we've gone thumb on C, C changes to second finger, B, C, E, A. Three on E, E, F, D, E, C. Our left hand, we finished on the G there. We're going to put the two notes either side. So we're going to go A and F, down one, E and G. If I put that together, 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 together. So basically holding the long ones, then changing when you finish the mini. So let's put that whole new section that we've done. So the beginning is the same as the start, not the introduction. Mm -hmm. 